Okay, all right, you ready? You ready, here we go. I didn't even, got the camera on, so you can go ahead and show off, you gonna jump? That's why I thought, good jump. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well, I'm great. Just remembered, I was supposed to clean my lens off before I started this, be right back. I have a big stack of new pottery, all from Amazon, not normally my jam, but I thought I would share what's going on here. Nothing necessarily wrong with Amazon pottery, it's just I generally go to my local nurseries. We have lots of nurseries around here that have amazing pottery. I recently came into some new aeroids. I came into, I mean, I went to an aeroid show and I bought way too many. I wanted to go the self-watering route with those. I don't see the self-watering, just like cheapy cheap types all that often at the local nursery. So I went ahead and I ordered some. Some are very inexpensive, some are nicer and more decorative. And one of them is just great big. It's just a great big pot, great big self-watering container. There's no plants, but hopefully you know, there's a view of the garden. Look, plants, plant things happened. Plant things will be happening once these get opened in a different video, probably not in this one. The most beautiful, perfect overcast out here when I came out to start filming this and then the sun came out, which is normally a great thing. But when I set up, it looked really nice and now everything's backlit, which that's okay. I know y'all don't care. Just looking at plastic pots here, it's not that big of a deal. Might as well start off with the ones that are already out of the box. These are the easiest ones to look at. No, that's not one pot. This is a six pack of self-watering containers up at the listings up on the screen if anybody's curious is silver gold blue on the tag i don't remember that being what i ordered but this was a listing that had some pots that had more of a metallic look to them and i thought that might be interesting something different My overall objective with all of these except for a couple of them the ones i'll be showing to you last was for them to be affordable because I needed a whole bunch of them. I didn't want to get anything that was really expensive. And oftentimes self-watering containers look kind of cheap. They're not always the most attractive pots to have around, but the ones I picked out, I was thinking might look nice to take them out and see. That's um, that's an interesting color. Kind of a gunmetal blue, if that's a thing. Metallic, metallic blue, it's really stuck in there. And then the other one's just silver. Just a shiny silver pot. Looks like there's some glitter in there. Has a nice sheen to it, some sparkle. Okay looking pot. That's how you get people excited. Just for it as everything is okay. Welcome to my average pottery haul. Nothing special to see here. Six, six inch containers and they came with six inserts. The inserts have a couple of larger holes in them. I presume for wicking cord. Yes, is that in here? I hope. Only really matter I have a ton of wicking cord, but there is some in there. One for each pot, a tiny amount of LECA. Not enough to fill six pots, but it's something. Strings hang down like that. And that all just fits in here, wicks the water up into the bottom of the pot. Very standard self-watering containers. So those are the first ones. Was that fun? Is that a bird or a kitten? Do you hear that? You heard that, right? I assume it's a bird, because it sounds like it's coming from the tree. But it's also reminding me a lot of a kitten, but I don't, a kitten wouldn't, why would there be a kitten in the tree? Oh, I really want to go looking around the yard to see if there's a kitten somewhere, but I know there's not, it's just a bird. Okay, I checked it out, it's just a bird, which I know people are probably going to be saying, that doesn't sound like a kitten, well that's just the microphone. I haven't heard a kitten in a long time, okay? There's some little brown thing, a wren, maybe, I don't know. Next up, have another six pack, and I assume that they're stacked in here together. They are, or do they have that? There's more, come on out. Get, get that all to come out one time. There we go. Not that it mattered. The whole thing wasn't in frame. It was squares this time. Send it up, so exciting. I believe these were four or five inch planters. Another six pack. It's nice to be able to get these things in packs. Turbo just found a wiffle ball, or whatever you would call this ball. That's not a wiffle, where did this come from? Turbo, where did this, where did you find this? Whatever, you can have it, go get it. Another toy for the pool. You don't want it? You just thought you'd drop it in my lap so I'd get all wet, thanks Turbo. These came with plumbing this time. There goes Turbo. These are really, really stuck together. Not want to come apart from each other. There's the insert. I would call this a much better insert than what was on the other one, more complex. Has the feet. So it sits in there nicely. This is not the kind that uses a wicking cord. This is one that just goes off of the law of attraction. That if there's moisture down below, down at that lowest point down in here, then that will attract the roots to grow down and get the moisture that they need. And the bag have the parts 
for the float valves. You know, you need to refill these. And there are no directions. I don't know what I'm doing with this because I don't normally buy the types of pots that use the floats on them because I just don't really like them. I found these float things to be unreliable, so I always just kind of figured why bother. I think that the stick sits in there and that's going to be what pushes this up and down. It's got this little plug thing in there that I don't, that could float up and make this move, but then the writing would be upside down. Tiny little stick, that's what's supposed to be in here and that acts as a gauge, right? So that moves up and down and tells you if it needs to be refilled and then, okay, get back in there. This attaches to this, except no, that doesn't fit. That's a very loose fit. What's to stop these from just falling apart from each other? I started to get it and then it turned out I don't, I don't get it. So this would go right here and then that stick would float up. That's gonna be what tells you what needs to be refilled in there, right? But the problem is none of these things actually attach to each other. So in theory, this would attach maybe just like this, except it doesn't attach. It's just, it's loose. It doesn't fit on there. And then that pushes the stick up in there maybe too high yeah too high so now this doesn't fit it you can't put this doesn't it doesn't work yes yeah, so that's how they show it in the amazon listing with the pipe coming down right there onto the black part but it's, it's too big no i know that this isn't rocket science if that's straight up and down why would they make this if they don't attach do i need to put it the other way like this each side looks like it's the same size, so I don't know why that would matter. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the floaty thing out and then push this down way in there, like as far as I can, which isn't that far because it's tapered so that you can't push it in too far, then drop this in there. Add the stick, that right there. It would, here's the issue. It would be nice if this also attached to this part because then it would, well, no, that still doesn't fit right because this should be flush down in there, I can't push that in any further. So I'm just gonna, these pots, these square ones, that a zero out of 10. Not that I'm actually assigning rankings to any of these. I ordered some of the cheapest pots possible and some of the more expensive ones, but I would like for them to be able to at least go together. Cause this, that's, and that's dumb. How's that supposed to work? Pick up a plant and move it and then you're gonna have your bobber pop off every single time. I put them together outside of the pot that fits together the way that you would want it to, but you can't just put it, well, you can, but see it's, all right, that's not that bad, but I would like for it to be flush. We can go ahead and say that that mystery has been solved. There we go. That's the self-watering square ones. Spent way too much time on those. Down fairly well in there. I mean, this is pretty good. If this is your thing and it's your style, then I would say that that's probably a great option for you as far as a smaller self-watering container goes. I don't think that these look bad. That's one of the other reasons that I like these. I think that looks pretty nice for a self-watering container. Put some water in this container and see if that bobber even works. Let's see, get some water flowing. Is it gonna move? Gonna move, nothing's happening. That's not good. Come on, what's the point of view? Move, why won't the stick move? What's going on? You can see I could not possibly put any more water into this, that's plenty full. So that bobber should be moving up and down in there. It's stuck. See, it's not even moving when I tilt it upside down. Okay, so here's the problem. Down inside there, there's that little insert I showed you and the stick keeps getting wedged to the sides when I try and make this fit together instead of just sitting right there in the middle. See what happens, you put the stick in there first so that most of it's on that end and put it together and then it won't be as loose. That still isn't right. Start over from the very beginning, put these two pieces together nice and tightly, drop the floaty thing in there very loosely so that it doesn't get compacted down to the bottom, which it did. I don't know how that happened, but it got pushed down too tightly. And then get that in there loosely, hold it upside down. Now, let's see what happens when I drop it in there. That's nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's no reason that that shouldn't be all the way up to the full point. If I lift it up and out of the water, it does move, but not accurately. So nothing wrong with them as far as the containers themselves go. I even, I really like the inserts. These feel really nice and firm. It's just that one, you know, that thing. That thing sucks. Okay, and now I have the nicer looking pottery, self-watering pottery. You know these are nice. It's Nihau on it. I that that's Dutch. Fully understand the connection there. Nihau means turtle sweater, doesn't it? Got a box within a box here. Probably unnecessary and wasteful. Pop that open. You can't, you're not gonna be able to see this. It's black on the inside. 
drainage dish, flash reservoir, and there's a piece of cardboard in there to separate the pieces and then the top of the container right there. That looks nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. They had a lot of different ones to choose from. I think there were six different patterns. I don't typically like white on my pottery just because I feel like you have to clean it all the time, at least at my house, you end up having to clean it all the time. So went with one word, there wouldn't be stains on them. So I remember the other ones, at least all of them, I think had some sort of white on the containers. These have instructions and a whole kit inside of there, a screen. Use the inside of the container, two holes for a wicking cord. That wicking cord will hang down into that reservoir to wick the water back up into the container. Very simple self-watering container. Uh, it also came with a couple of plugs in case you don't want it to drain for some reason. Maybe plug one up and use the other one for drainage if you're not going to use it as a self-watering container. I don't really know why you would plug it up, but I suppose it's nice to have the option. Maybe you're growing bog plants, something in there that doesn't need drainage or wouldn't prefer it. So there are instructions here on what to do. It's very self-explanatory. You put the wick through the holes just like I showed on the other one. There are instructions on how to use this as a normal planter, which is just have rubber plug to stop one of the drainage holes and keep the other. You can have two drainage holes. You don't have to plug one of them up. Two drainage holes isn't going to hurt the plant. It would be fine with two of them. Put the mesh on another hole to prevent the loss of soil. I guess you could do that. It's not gonna hurt. Transfer plant directly to the pot. Saturate soil. This only needs to be done when the plant is initially transferred into the pot or the soil becomes completely dry. Yeah, I don't fully agree with the care instructions on there, but as far as the core idea there behind caring for the plants, it's, it's good enough. I wouldn't rely on instructions that come with a planter from Amazon for your plant care anyways, right? Yeah, this looks nice. I like that a lot. So the main difference between this one and the other two that I just showed was that this was, I believe, $22 when I got it. Might be more than that right now because I think it was on sale. Needed nine pots. I wasn't going to buy nine of the $22 ones. I figured I'd just get a few of them and then all of my smaller plants that need to go into a container, I'll put into those more inexpensive ones that I showed before. And uh, when they get bigger, can move them into nicer containers if I want to or put them into some other type. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with the look of a plastic container. There are a lot of advantages to them. They're easier to move around. You don't have to worry about them breaking. If they get knocked over, they're not as heavy, if that's a thing. You know, some people have smaller hands or maybe arthritis and move your plants around a lot. You don't want a big, heavy pot that's harder to grab a hold of. This is just an aesthetic thing. I like the way this looks. I think it's a nice looking container. And I thought it'd be fun to show the ones that come in a six pack for the same prices, just this one in comparison and fancy about it. It's just a ceramic glazed container that has a deep drainage dish in it for the wicking cord to hang down into. I should move on to the big one. You see this big one down here? You see that? I'm gonna pop that one open. Okay, I wanted to show this with the beautiful label on the front, but my address is right there. So we just look at the side of the box. See what this is? This is an extra tall self-watering container. Is this a weird thing to be filming a video on? Just pots. Does anybody care? I hope so. It's nice to be able to get an impression of some of these things. On Amazon, when you go and look at, I should talk about this in the intro, never know that I've made over 800 of these videos. Self-watering containers, like I said, I don't see them at my nurseries very often. When I do, they're rather expensive. And a lot of people who are using self-watering containers are fellow plant nerds who maybe have a lot of plants. So spending 25 bucks to 70, 80, I see those prices all over the place just on each container alone. Not always the most practical, that's why. The internet comes in handy, Amazon, eBay, what have you, where you can get them in multi-packs. I thought it'd be nice to show what some of these multi-packs look like that we see all over the place when you go onto Amazon or eBay and type in self-watering container. This one is a floor planter, and I've wanted one of these for a few years to try out in the house with plants that tend to be more thirsty. I don't usually like growing plants in the house that are really thirsty ones. I like to keep those out in my growth space, but there are some plants that I think would be nice to have inside. And for that to work, I need a larger container. That's where this one comes in. Oh, it's beautiful. It's still wrapped in styrofoam. It would, if this were the texture on it though, white with all those ripples, that'd look pretty cool. Has an insert right there to go in the bottom plumbing parts with a bobber thing that hopefully works. We'll go ahead and unwrap this and have a look at the container. I don't think the insert has to come out to get the styrofoam off. It did. Hey, very well wrapped and a very large reservoir. I'm able to get so much water in there. That's what I wanted. This is going in my office where <laughs> watering the plants is a bit of a chore. Have to go all the way to a bathroom to get the watering can down underneath the 
faucet in the tub to get the watering can filled up enough for a large plant. But with this, it's going to hold enough water where that's not going to be a problem. Very shiny, very reflective. Lots of reflection on there. See the label down the bottom says Dexed, what does that say? Dexeter? Dexeter. Hey, this is fine. The insert has little handles that pop up on it. And instructions. How to fit the pot together, remove the packaging, take out the separated accessories. Please follow the instructions and the assembly instructions to complete the water level indicator assembly and other accessories assembly. There's no, I don't see anything else here. Is there, oh, there it is. Found it, it's in there. I have instructions to work with this time, that's nice. Like that I had to read instructions to realize that there were instructions. I would have seen these though, I would have figured it out. Okay, I will look at the illustrations, I'll listen to the instructions and look at the illustration. Why is it there so much here? That seems like way too much for a self-watering container. Especially because they already have part of it assembled. Were they not maybe initially packaging these with this part already assembled? That's what I'm guessing. I got to step one later. I want to get this part snapped on first. This goes like this somehow. It just sits there magically on its own. That doesn't make any sense. I think that would need to snap into place. These instructions. They're horrible. I don't have all these parts that's saying to do all these things with all these little things. I don't have those. This is it. That's all I got. It's just these three things here that don't want to focus. Doing my best to try and logic this out, which didn't work out all that well with the other planter. This one also has the stick thing in it. And it had that plunger piece, the bobby thing that went, where did it go? There it is, in there. With this, it's looking like in the picture, I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see that. Step one is attach big white thing to this little thing. I don't have that little thing. I assume that little thing is this big black thing right here. B of part one is to put the red floaty straw thing that's right there through another part that I don't have into another Part? No, I think that step B and the one below it are just blending together. I'm thinking maybe it's saying to attach the straw into the bottom of this bobber piece. Does that fit in there? No, that doesn't, that doesn't fit. I just push really hard, it'll fit. That's a square hole in a round tube, but made it work. This would also explain the problem with the planters we looked at before. I'll revisit that and give them another shot that we probably just didn't put them together properly. Okay, and the next step makes it looks like you just drop this in there, which makes perfect sense since that's what you would do. And then uh, part D, I don't, I don't know what that, what does that mean? Were these initially not assembled and I was, I would put them together if they had come unassembled? I don't know. Part E, it looks like there's, I don't, pretty sure the next step is to just put this thing in here, I'm guessing. That's the only thing I can make sense of there. Does the tube move? Yes. Now I know I may have done things wrong with those other pots. I think I need to flip the bob around all those other containers and then that floater thing will work just fine. We'll give that a try in just a minute. Step two is to attach this to that. Pictures, it's a different looking pot. I assume that's what this little clip at the end is for. Let's just like snap in. Maybe, there isn't really anything for it to snap into though. No, that doesn't snap into anything. That just is supposed to magically sit there. I go, oh, well, okay, all right, that works. The resistance of it trying to move that way is holding it up. And I guess once it's in the container, then that won't be an issue. All right, the rest of this makes absolutely no sense because these are four different pots. So step two and three is for a round pot, but this part makes sense, but it wouldn't otherwise just slide right down into a round pot. And I don't have that, I have a left out basket. Step four and five is saying to go ahead and do your potting stuff. And then there's another step two and three down at the bottom that are for a square pot, which is more similar to this, but it's a different looking floating mechanism, kind of, sort of. Yeah, that's different. These four, fives, and sixes, they're different. So I've just reached the point where it's time to just get it done and figure it out. Oh, here's that insert. Oh, there's something in here. What am I supposed to do with, there's like a plug thing. Can you see it? This thing, what is that? What, what am I supposed to do with that? Nothing in the instructions anywhere about that thing. Looks like it's gonna be in the way when I try and put this down inside of this container though. I don't know, give it a shot, drop that down in there. Yeah, it's in the way, that doesn't, doesn't work. It's probably just the wrong direction to try it. I bet if I do it that way, that'll work. Yeah, that works. Okay, so then this thing would go down in here, right? That makes sense, ooh, and that'll bob up and down the inside when it needs water. And it has a cap to go over it, but how? You can see there's an indentation here, so this is where that had to go. It's got lucky that that's how that fit in there to begin with. So probably just 
do it like that. Well, that's complicated. How's that gonna work? You really need to assemble all this stuff separately, and that's not how the instructions explain this, which either means I'm doing it completely wrong, or the instructions just sucked, which I think is very much a possibility. Is that gonna work? You go into place and walk in and look nice. I want it to look nice. This wasn't cheap. You better look nice. Okay, I'd say that that is secure. And then this has handles on the sides like that. So it's easy to pick it up and just drop it into place like that. That's nice. There we go. That was easy. Set this on the ground, put some water in it, see what happens. Oh, and I also realized that that giant reservoir underneath, that's not for the water, that's just to make the whole thing look taller. There's only about that much space on it for water, which is probably fine, because otherwise that much water would need some sort of aeration, or it'd get stagnant and pretty disgusting. Suppose that's fine. I am tempted to pop a hole in the bottom so I can utilize the entire bottom of that and put a wicking cord in there. And I have a fish tank in the room right next to where this thing's gonna be going, so I can run an airline down in there too that'll keep that water moving, and the, I bet the plant would love that. That's getting ahead of things first. Get some water in here and see if that bobber is gonna move. There we go. Look at that. It's actually doing what it's supposed to do. Oh. That might be because I assembled it properly. We'll check back with those other pots and see if they work too. All right, I'm gonna try this again. See if I just messed up. I'm pretty sure I just had that bobber upside down. Hey, did you see that? Look, boom, 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 boom. User error, my bad. Any instructions, I haven't put one of these together in a long time. Forget everything I said about it earlier. 10 out of 10, excellent self-watering container. Okay, so there's a good assortment of pottery here. Get them in a six pack, have a whole bunch of them, have the floor size one right there. I don't think I mentioned, this one is, I believe 24 inches tall by 12 inches wide. And yeah, it doesn't hold water all the way down to the bottom. Pardon all the reflection. That's gonna look great in the house. Out here, it's, there's a lot going on. Looking forward to planting that one up. And you saw all the others, a good assortment of pots here. Comment down below some of your favorite self-watering containers. I usually just use the ones that come with potter, pottery, that come with plants that I get from the hardware store, like Lowe's or Home Depot. Those always work really well. And uh, I just pop a hole in the side and I've never had issues with those when it comes to buying them. I usually go for the more inexpensive ones. This one was not inexpensive, but that's just because it's big. And compared to other large ones, rather inexpensive. The ones from Crescent Gardens get very pricey. This one wasn't cheap, but for a pot this size, well, it looks pretty good. I'd say it was worth it. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on all these and make sure that they hold water. I'll pin a comment in the bottom to let everybody know if there are any leaks or anything of the sorts. Probably important to know in the video about self-watering containers, right? I am seeing some water down here on the ground, but I think that that's just from turbo getting things wet over here. I'll move that around and have a better look at it later. Like I said, comment down below, say hi. Love talking to everybody. What's going on in your gardens? All right, hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day, great life, and everything's just going beautifully for you. Hey, Turbs, how you doing, baby? And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.